Okay, good morning. I'm Dr. Yusuf from Cornwall. I'm just going to walk you through the app for uh, that made by J&J for choosing intraocular lenses for cataract surgery. It's a very nice app. You can download it for free from the App Store. So I'll show you where you go. So if you go there, uh, let's see here, App Store, and you search for Technus. It's going to be this one here. Okay, so uh, go open this one. Okay, so uh, this is the app. We'll go walk you through the how the eye works, and then choosing the eye IOL and understanding it, and then the vision simulator. So let's start uh, with how the eye works. Normally, the vision, the light comes from distance, get focused by the cornea and the normal lens of the eye, and get focused on the fovea, the center of the vision, and then get translated into the in the brain to see the, to, for you to actually see the vision the picture so uh, you can see here the cell phone is in focus the the grandpa is in focus and the mountains are in focus so everything is in focus normally this happens when you're a young pe person and you don't need glasses in hypropia the other condition of vision the light is actually focused behind the retina so you end up having Blurry vision, more blurry for close-up than distance, but both of them are blurry. When you're young, you can compensate by accommodating or focusing closer, and as you get older, this gets uncovered. Myopia is the opposite of that, so the light is actually focused in front of the retina, so you can see the stuff closer to you, so you can see the cell phone, and but you can't see the distance. So a lot of people with this condition they take off their glasses to read. And uh, this is a big disappointment after cataract surgery. If you don't correct the close-up, you will end up having good distance vision, but no close-up vision. And uh, this is very frustrating. So you have to always think about whether you want to correct the close-up vision or not uh, for cataract surgery. Astigmatism is uh, where the, what we call football eye. So the cornea uh, mostly is the one that's uh, the meridians or the curvature of one meridian is not the same as the other one. And you result in different foci in the retina. So the vision is always blurry for close-up and distance. Or everything is blurry here. So uh, the glasses, the patient with the significant astigmatism, they usually wear glasses throughout their life. Presbyopia is a different condition. It happens naturally as we get older because the lens itself is not able to focus anymore. So uh, normally when you're young, you can see everything in focus. As we get older, it, the close-ups start to become out of focus, but the distance still maintained in focus. Okay, when cataract, surgery, the cataract starts, so this is the clear vision when you are young, and as we get older, you can see that the color started to fade slightly, and the vision starts to become blurry and this is uh, what happens with cataract. So it's, you can see it's a very gradual process from very clear vision to foggy vision. And sometimes patients are not aware because it happens very, very slowly and you're not aware of it. In cataract surgery, we're going to remove that lens and replace it with a new lens. So the, this lens is gone and a new plastic lens is, is inserted. And the discussion of this uh, app is mostly about what kind of option, what should you expect with the, with those lens? Okay, so uh, let's move to the next section, which is the uh, lens choices. You can see there's a lot of different lenses from J&J. &J. They, are, they are all really good lenses. Uh, the material is uh, really good and clear and stays clear for a very long time. Uh, it should be the rest of your life. I get that question a lot. Uh, how, what's the life expectancy of the lenses? It should be the rest of your life. We, we implant those lenses in babies and we expect them to live 90 years or so. So uh, you expect for these lenses to stay with you the rest of your life. And this is very important because that's why you have to think very well about what, what kind of lens you want to have the rest of your life. And it's a good investment too. So this is one investment you're going to last you the rest of your life. So uh, if we go here, from the bottom of this list, not from the top, okay? The monofocal lenses will give you distance lenses, distant vision. 
and there's a correction of astigmatism on top of that, the line above that, the thickness toric lens. Okay, you can see it adds up as you go from the bottom of this list to the top of this list. But one, what I'm going to see, I'm going to go to the images here, which is easier to understand. I'm going to go from the bottom of this one. So a monofocal lens has one focus. So if you look here, the focus is at distance. So this lens will give you distant, clear distance vision and will give you intermediate or close-up vision. So this is out of focus and this is out of focus for close-up and intermediate, but it's focused for distance. With this lens, you're going to use uh, glasses for near, for reading and working on a computer at an intermediate distance. Those are good lenses. There's the spherical and aspherical lenses of these uh, kind of models, the monofocal lenses. And uh, they are good choices, but they don't give you those close-up and intermediate vision, which these are two very important functions to function without glasses, if that's something that you want to do. Okay, so next lens is the eye hands. It's a monofocal lens, still have one focus, but it has an additional power for intermediate. So if you look at the ray tracing of this lens, so you can see the close-up vision, it's still out of focus. But if you stretch your arm and or look at a computer distance, it's actually in focus. So patient with this lens will have clear distance vision, which is in focus here, and intermediate vision that can be used to, without glasses, like computer distance. And it's very, very uh, good for working at computer distance. So you can work with this with this lens on a computer to further than arm length uh, kind of vision. And you're going to see well with there. But it doesn't give you a close-up, so you're going to still need reading glasses. But the good thing about it is that the distance vision is very clear. And there's no rings on that lens. So there's no night vision issues. So I use it for my truck drivers and golfers because uh, the intermediate here, you will see the, the ground very well. And you see the putting. Okay, so this is... This is a good lens for that kind of purpose. Okay, so this is the eye hands lens that has additional reading, uh, not reading, uh, intermediate vision. Okay, multifocal lenses, I generally don't like them because they have they are actually bifocal lenses. So you have one focus going to the near one, one focus to the far one, and there is a gap in the middle. Uh, for in my practice, these have been replaced completely by the synergy lenses. So these are the bifocal, the, we call them again multifocal, but they are actually bifocal or trifocal. So these have rings on them and they cause your halos around light, as all these kind of uh, correcting lenses for close up, they all cause some haloing around light at night with different degrees. Uh, so this is the multifocal. I don't use them in my practice. Symphony used to be my correcting distant uh, lens for close-up. Uh, the problem with it is that if you look at the near here, uh, where the book or the phone is, it's not very strong for near. It gives you good vision, uh, but a slightly at a little bit further distance between the computer and the iPhone and the book. Give you clear distance vision, intermediate and a little more for close-up, but not completely for close-up. So uh, now for uh, my favorite lens uh, for correcting the presbyopia now, this is the Synergy lenses. They have, uh, you have focus for both distance, intermediate, and close-up, and they are all in focus. They are not trifocal lenses. They don't give you one here, one here, one here, and gaps in the middle. They give you everything in focus, which is my favorite lens. It's a it has a yellow tint or champagne color kind of uh, lens and it decreases the glare at night or the halos at night but still have more halos than the monofocal lenses. So uh, to, to sum up, so the monofocal lenses will give you distance vision, eye hands lenses will give you distance and intermediate vision and the synergy lenses will give you all distances. The trade-off is to have a little bit of haloing around light at night and I'll show you how it looks on the simulator. So if you go to a vision simulator here, so you have something that's called astigmatism, no astigmatism. So I'll start with no astigmatism. I'm going to start with the monofocal lens again. So this is a monofocal lens. 
a healthy eye. So you'd see the slider in the bottom here, bottom. Okay, and uh, you start from a healthy eye, then presbyopia start to blur the close-up vision, and then you start to develop cataracts, becomes foggy and out of focus, and then you implant a standard monofocal, which is not a spheric. A spheric means that the curvature of the peripheral of the lens is changed to optimize the focus of the light on the retina. So this is not a spheric, or this is spherical lens, so the focus is not optimized. It gives you a really clear distance vision, but it's not as clear as this one. See, the, the colors becomes more vivid and more in focus. It's, the difference is minimal, but it's there. Okay, At night, this is the, the standard lens at night, and this is the eye the enhanced one or the uh, the aspheric one at night is crisper and more focused for night so we'll called high definition lens for, for to simplify things so this is the thickness monofocal lens between the standard and the aspheric and the comparison between them we can use the slider at the bottom to do that if we go up from that and the eye hands uh, again, the simulator heat doesn't show it very well, but uh, it has more of the intermediate. So the sign on the left side of this image should be more in focus. So healthy eye, presbyopia, and then cataracts, and then the monofocal. So that sign that's out of focus will be in focus because it's intermediate. It should be in and during the day and then at night. So the night vision is clear at night. So, and this is the good thing about this one. So it maintained some of the intermediate vision, plus the distance vision is clear and the night vision is clear. And then we go the multifocals uh, and symphony. I'm going to skip those and go to synergy, which is my favorite one for correcting uh, presbyopia now. And uh, so this is a healthy eye, presbyopia, age, then cataract. Then this is the monofocals for comparison. So you can see, you can see the distance can see the grandpa and his granddaughter and then the post is out of focus and the phone is out of focus if you move to the synergy this everything is in focus and crisp so again between the monofocal lens and the synergy lens there's a difference so you have to make your choice when you decide about doing cataract surgery do you want to have this one with just correcting distance or the the every uh, all distance is corrected the monofocal at night, you can see well, you don't see a lot of halos, but if you see synergy, you can see that there's a little bit haloing. You can see the difference between around the headlights. So this is the haloing around light. But at the same time, if you look at the dashboard, so it's with the monofocal is out of focus, with the synergy is in focus. So the trade-off. So you have to pick and choose what you wanna wanna have here. So these are all lenses. So all these lenses have astigmatism correction. So if I click on the astigmatism top and put the astigmatism to the maximum, see, so with astigmatism, everything's out of focus because there's no perfect lens here. So we, if we go to presbyopia, it gets more in focus, cataract adds to it. So this is a lot of blur here. If you do a monofocal lens, it corrects it, but you can need glasses because you can, if you see here, everything is out of focus because astigmatism is still there. And this is synergy without correcting astigmatism, okay? But here, and this is out of focus, still out of focus, but I'm gonna change the lens here from synergy to synergy toric. Okay, let's do that here. So this is astigmatism, then presbyopia, then cataract, and this is the monofocal, this is not correcting astigmatism, and you can see everything still in focus, you can still see the knee glass for all foot purposes, now with the synergy toric, everything became in focus. So this is you have to make a choice between having this kind of vision with a monofocal lens that doesn't correct astigmatism or close-up, and the synergy lens that would correct the distance, intermediate, close-up, all the ranges, and corrects the astigmatism. This is the big difference between this image and this image. Same night, uh, so it's out of focus all through because of the astigmatism. And then we correct it with the synergy toric lens would, would have the same thing. And if you look at the selector here with the astigmatism, you have a lot of different choices here. Monofocal, for example, let's go monofocal. 
Okay, uh, monofocal, that's monofocal toric. Okay, I'm taking a story. So the stigmatism here, increased pyopia, then cataract, then we did the surgery with a monofocal lens, everything is still in fo out of focus because of the stigmatism. If you correct it, everything is in focus except the close up because it does not correct the close up. At night, and then the monofocal, but still the close up is out of focus with that lens because it does not correct the close up. But if you change that selector to synergy toric, everything is in focus here. So astigmatism, increased myopia, cataracts, technus, monofocal, then this is the synergy toric, which corrects the astigmatism, and then this is technus monofocal, and this is technus, uh, technus synergy toric, which corrects all distances. So the downside of this, I always say, it's, it's the halo around light at night. This is because of the how the lens is constructed and how what how that's what give us the close-up vision. Are the rings of the lens, and that's why you see the halo around light at night. Monofocal is out of focus here because of astigmatism, but here you see everything is focused, but it is uh, there is a st the halo around light. So again, a very nice app, uh, well done uh, from J and J. And uh, I want you to go through it very well, study it. It's a free app, download it and, and use it to understand different vision problems here for between normal vision, hypropia, myopia, astigmatism, presbyopia, cataracts, and cataract surgery, and that's how it's done. Okay, and then go to the lens options. You can uh, sh choose the, uh, to see how the ray tracing for every lens. But again, one reminder here is the eye hands it gives you intermediate in addition. But in the, the uh, and this table did not show that here, which is, I think it's missing here. It should show that it shows a little bit of this intermediate. And uh, then go to the vision simulator to understand if you have astigmatism or not. It has to be a significant astigmatism. This is to, to toggle between the astigmatism and no astigmatism and toggle between the different kind of lenses, okay? Well, uh, enjoy uh, the app and uh, hope to see you at the office uh, to discuss all things.